it was at the uh, one of the universities, one of the colleges in, uh, in, in Minneapolis. They assigned their students a project where every student had to go and visit organizations, movements, philosophies who are devoted to improving the world, improving the world. And then they had to write a, a report, an essay. So these two students called me and asked if they could come into the room because Chabad is working at improving the world. They were not Jewish, and they came and they sat down. And before we started, I said to them, I'm just curious, how many other organizations have you visited so far? And they said, 11. I said, there are 11 organizations here in the Twin Cities who are working at improving life. They said, oh, there are many more. I said, so tell me, from all these places you visited, is the world getting any better? <laughs> With all these organizations, all these movements working to improve the world, is, is there any sign that there has been any improvement? And they laugh. Because, not really. And then one of them said, that's why it's so good to know that there's a better world waiting for us than heaven. And it occurred to me that maybe that's why we're having no improvement on earth. I mean, if you know there's a better life waiting for you in heaven, how, how hard are you going to work at making this one better? So it turns out that if you believe in an afterlife, it's not so good for this world. It's not good for this world to believe that there's a better one. That's very logical. So if you think there's a better world awaiting you, then you can kind of uh, let this one slide. Just get through it with as few scars as possible and move on to something better. That's not a good thing. So it turns out, seeing what's going on with the uh, militant Muslims and what they believe and what they do, it seems like if you really believe that heaven is a good place to be, you're a potential terrorist. Because in some way, you undermine the sanctity of life on earth by diminishing it to second class, second best, where heaven is the preferred. So, if you really believe that there is a better world waiting, then, then you're Taliban. So what is the Jewish concept of heaven, of the hereafter? <laughs> this guy said, you know, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to think about the hereafter a lot. And his wife said, I didn't know you were religious. He said, no, that's not what I mean. I walk into the room and I open the fridge and I'm wondering, what am I here after? <laughs> <laughs> so what is the Jewish concept of the hereafter? The Jewish concept is, when a soul leaves earth, it's got to go somewhere. Where do souls go? Souls go back to where souls came from. Everything goes back to where it came from. So the soul goes back to the origin of the place where souls come from. Is that good for the soul? Yes, it's very good for the soul. Is that a better life? No. Who said it's a better life? This is the best life. If you can't have this, okay, you gotta go somewhere, so go to heaven. Heaven is comfortable. Heaven is beautiful. Heaven is safe, painless. Better? Nobody ever. None of the sages ever suggested that heaven is better. Because it's not. All the souls in heaven can't wait to come back to earth. So, the Jewish concept of heaven is, it's a beautiful retirement home. <laughs> 
but how long can you be retired? Eventually, you get a little bored and you want to go back to doing something productive. That's one thing about religion.